So I've gotten a bit of an ask inside my latest comments. And first of all, before I even go into this video, I want to seriously, gravely apologize for my absence over these past few weeks. Uh, these past two weeks have been a very difficult week for me, and I've been trying to navigate through it. And now here we are, and here we are alive and well. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you that, um, you know, it's all on a basis of me probably taking taking a certain level of compassionate leave from this channel and now I am back and now I am ready to take this on so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's dive in so the most one of the most recent comments that I've gotten is somebody asking me if I could tell them their v the VS uh, code extensions that I've been using on my VS Code. So, of course, I took the liberty and the time to actually have uh, a sit down with each and every single uh, situation that is indeed um, my VS Code extensions. And I had a deep dive into looking what it is that looking at what it is that I've been installing. I got to realize something. I've just been installing in extensions very extensively. No pun intended and not, no no catchy joke intended. I've just been installing extensions and I generally don't know most of the extensions that I'm using, except for a few and which I plan on going over uh, right at this very moment. So right now, the theme that we're using, if we want to go into the theme, so I'm just going to do control P and then I'm going to do this to go to the theme. So you can see that we have our material icons, we have our different areas over here here so let's look at the color theme over here we're using colors contrast uh, we can go to the rain glow but this is the one that we're using colors contrast and this colors contrasted is coming in from material uh, the, the material dark themes so in terms of selecting a theme we could go to code course contrast which are actually nice themes as well to use but i like to use this uh, colors contrasted uh, and sometimes maybe even the copilot theme but the colors contrasted is the best one for me and it just highlights everything very very well especially with php code um the next thing that you need to also probably install over here is if you're a laravel developer you will definitely want to do laravel you type laravel and then it comes in to this point where you have the extension part which are 13 different extensions if you click on this you have all these 13 different extensions that you can be able to install i'll just click on install and it installs everything that is required other than that everything else is just mumbo jumbo so how this actually assists me into coding and developing and everything is the easy syntax completion another extension that i usually use uh, for my development is the github copilot uh, which is another extension that it should generally be on everybody's uh you know now you can definitely see that we have the github copilot uh already installed we also have the github copilot chat so those two are very crucial so how do i use these so the github copilot chat and the github copilot itself usually will pop up over here the toggle chat button and now you can actually start conversing with it however it is that you please so that you can be able to produce something that is substantial for your development now if you want to do the github copilot inside your code then instead of the chat what you can do is I hit control shift and I over here, not shift I, but control I, sorry. So I'm just going to close this control I, and now I can ask copilot to do whatever it is that I want it to do. So from this point, this is where you can understand that GitHub copilot is going to actually be involved in your coding process. And yeah, forgive my stuttering and my, you know, I've not been active on screen. I've not been able to, you know, shake off a bit of rust that I've been collecting this past two weeks. I've not even coded for this past two weeks. So that, bear with me and it's I'm just going to be okay in the process. And yeah, the stuttering will end and I'll overcome it a second time or a third time or whatever number, the nth time at which I've overcome the stuttering. Now, let's look at what happens with our Flutter coding. So we have Flutter and the Flutter helpers and Flutter snippets. That is what usually helps me to code in Flutter. Now, 
for most of those guys who are full on full stack developers, you will definitely be doing front end and back end. And what I like to usually say is that there's no way you can call yourself a full on front end developer if you cannot code on all platforms. And this is essentially what I usually do. I code on all platforms. I code on desktop, I code on mobile, and I code on the web, front-end wise. Now, when it comes to back-end, it's just a matter of interlinking what it is that you have on the front-end and what you have in the back-end and let them communicate to one another. And that's essentially how you go about your coding process. Now, I will do a video later on talking about every single piece of item that I know about web development. Now, this will be a premium video and I would expect that it's going to garner a bit of attention in terms of understanding web development in 2025. So that is essentially what I plan on doing and I I hope that it will be helpful. I really do hope that it will be helpful for most people who are wanting to get into this space. Now, if there's a situation where some people are probably going to get, uh, I'm definitely going to be there for live streams. I've not done a live stream since the episode 10 of coding my startup and i plan on doing that i plan on doing so starting tomorrow so without further ado ladies and gentlemen that is it for all the extensions that i have been using these are all the installed extensions in total and the ones that actually make sense for you to install are probably the ones that are dealing with laravel and flutter and maybe some bits of this flux ui but i don't use this one because it's it doesn't even give me any suggestions whatsoever so it's just i don't know it just gives uh just gives off a bit of uh i don't know a bad taste or whatever and yeah i i don't know i think what i just need to probably do is figure out how to use this extension very extensively other th otherwise i will just go ahead and uninstall this so yeah and then we have github copilot we have the git lens which also helps me in doing our my check for version control and then i have IntelliJ Dracula the IntelliJ Dracula theme of which you may want to use this you may not but themes are very important the ones that you can you can have dark plus material this is the one I currently use and yeah this these ones are the very best ones that I could say that you could use uh, but it, you know the themes are there there are very many themes icon themes are also there in plenty like you can definitely see this is a different icon theme and the icon theme that I I think I'm using um, if I was to check out so you can see that we have uh, preferences my file icon theme is material icon theme as you can see so if I was to change that I would definitely go ahead go to my preferences and go to my settings and then I will now search for theme and once I search for theme you can definitely see that we have the color theme and then we have the preferred dark color theme so now if I was to change like let's say for example the word bench color theme to be bold contrast you can definitely see that changes but i like the color contrasted which is uh, colors contrast which is this one and then the workbench the preferred dark color theme over here is absent uh, absent ringle you could change that to the to whichever you want um then we have so many other different things like let's say for example the icon theme so not i'm using the material icon theme but i have many other themes that i could use see this is just the minimalist theme light high contrast uh the, this is the minimal theme the the visual studio minimal then this is the seti theme which just changes these uh blade components to the yeah to the elephants for php uh but i like to use uh material icon themes uh because i think file icons this one's over here is okay uh because this one also has the same shape it's just that it's colorless but i would go back to my material theme icon themes any day so the material icon themes are the ones that are looking like this so far and that's how i go about my business so ladies and gentlemen that is it for this particular video i'm just going over in a whole conglomerate of steps in the shortest time possible what kind of vs code extensions that i use for my vs code generally and i don't 
use cursor i know many people are trying to tempt me to use cursor but as long as you have github copilot you actually probably don't need cursor to code uh but if you want to go for it go ahead it's a really 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 good uh you know ide it's um also it's a fork of vs code so it's really 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 okay so without further ado ladies and gentlemen i would like to end it here please do indeed uh toss me a like for whatever and yeah i'm still trying to get the hang of things with uh these videos and i'm trying to you know post as often as i can from now on henceforth and yeah i think that's it for from me yeah so be sure to like share and subscribe and as always i will see you guys in the next one please do indeed take care and as always may god bless you all